Today we're going to figure out how to test ride a Harley. I guess the first thing you got to do is uh, find your local dealer. And then go inside and make friends. That shouldn't be too hard. Yo, man, I don't know what a 2017 cow rider is, but that old cow rider there, pretty slick. Get on it, and then I'm gonna walk you through all the fun. All right. Not gonna lie, I looked down there and seen the pegs, and I'm like, why is the back set down? We put those up. <laughs> I'm gonna switch your modes. Over to rain. I'm gonna start you in rain. Yes, sir. Go ahead, just very easy turn the throttle. Feel that? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I mean, just follow me. Yes, sir. Be good. I'll bring them back in a little bit. Woo, that's weird. Yeah, that's real weird. I like the ergonomics of the tank, though. Suspension's a little stiffer than what I thought. Turn in's really fast. Holy crap. It's not as much decel as I expected. If it were mine, I would definitely have to adjust the uh, right brake lever down a little bit. Maybe roll the bars forward. Man, that turn in. I am not used to that. Man, I feel like I'm on Tron. Now this I can do. Like I should be leaving a, leaving a black wall behind me. Or maybe Akira. Ah, Akira, I think my legs would be way out front like that. This thing is dope. By golly, with that acceleration and hits, it is instant like the man said. These mirrors ain't for shit. All right, all right. Got sport bike suspension on it. Designed for performance, not for comfort. Understood, understood. There's a little diesel. <laughs> the howling is awesome. I keep reaching for that clutch. <laughs> Every time we go to turn in, I try to clutch it in. And then, you know, you've got to be tentative braking every time you let off the throttle. Yeah, you can, you can hear it when it kicks in. Like, if, it, uh, if it's light throttle off, it, you don't really feel it. But once you get all the way off of it, there's a little gap, and then you feel it kind of kick in, like on a, a, a delayed uh, Jake brake in an 18 wheeler. That's cool as hell, brother. Yeah, it is. I love the shit off of it. Alright, that mode button over there. See it on the turn signal, but on the inside. Yeah, push that. What's it going to do? 
Eco, that one's got the little road icon. And then that's sport mode. Sport. Okay. Definitely feel a difference between the rain and the sport. Okay. Kind of got a feel for how it acts. All right, now let's try out this sport mode. Woo! Yep. Yep. That's that's pretty instant. It almost feels like the gearing dropped. It almost feels like we're riding like. We were riding in fifth and sixth, and now it feels like we're riding in fourth. You know, it's like a constant downshift. Ah. Forgot to tie up my drawstrings on my hoodie. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. I apologize. But you know, such is life. Holy shit, this thing's freaking awesome, bruh. Regenerative braking in sport mode is for real. On the old extra elbow skin there. Yeah, little car ain't worried about you. Somebody knows somebody a live wire on the media team. Come on, man. We got to work us out a deal where I can borrow one of these for a week. I want to ride this to work and home and whatever. Now, I wouldn't be a red-blooded American if I didn't open me up a little gap here and just a uh, whacker. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, maybe I don't need one of these. I don't know, man. That's dope as hell. Where's the clutch? I can't find a clutch. I didn't even give it all of it. I just want to sit myself back in the seat a little bit. You know, the old extra elbow skin up there on the tank was getting a little crunched. The ladies and children, if y'all don't know what uh, extra elbow skin is, uh, ask your granddad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That feels like my eyeballs are getting smaller, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want one of these fuckers. You damn right I do. It's going to stay the hell out of sport mode. And that's for sure. <laughs> Woo! Hey, you look for real, y'all. If y'all don't want to buy a live wire, that's fine. I understand it. You do you, man. But if you're thinking about it, if you're even if you're even interested in the idea of a live wire, bro, you go to your local Harley Davidson dealership and you fill out the paperwork and you go for a ride. Man, I want one of these for a week. It's two, uh, two and a half more years before I can buy another bike, y'all. Two and a half more years. For reasons. I'm not, I'm not, that's, that's my shit. But, man. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Kickstand down and then switch off. That's all right, right there, Mr. Bill. That's about as much fun as you can have with your clothes on. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I missed the gear back here and had to catch up. I was part of the first group of 25 that got sent up to Milwaukee. Yeah. Before the live wire actually came out years ago, there was like 25 of us, and all of us were pretty much in these meetings in the morning said. You know, who's going to buy this bike? It's going to be that guy with the little man bun and the long <laughs> jeans and the pointy brown shoes. You know? And then after in the afternoon, they took us all out and let us ride these things. Yeah. And every one of us came back going, damn it, we all wanted to <laughs> yeah, We were riding around Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. And 
and I saw that they were dropping down on the interstate, and I was the very last person besides the the you know the sweep rider behind me. Yes, sir. And so I just kind of held back a little bit, and I was at the top of the ramp, and they were already all at the bottom, and I just nailed it in the sport mode. <laughs> and I went from about 30 mile an hour at the top of the ramp to <laughs> the bottom of the ramp <laughs> that quick. It was like yeah. 40 foot, and I was at my Yeah, yeah. It was just like, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll let you get out a little head. I'm not trying to be a big slingshot, you right. know, and just hammered on it. And I swear my my eyeballs felt like they got smaller, you know, and I got that muzzle on my helmet. So I can't, yeah. I can't see the dash, you know, so I don't know. And I, that's fine with me. I didn't need to know. But then breaking down from that speed, yeah. you know, I mean, just, I mean, like I, said, I don't know, it's probably 55, you know, we turned the corner at 10 or whatever. Yeah. And I just run up to 55 or whatever it was. I don't know. Yeah, when just as soon as you like, let off of it, yeah, and that regenerative braking kicks yeah. in, and then you apply just the littlest bit of brake pressure, and it settles in real nice. Yeah. You know, it's it's not trying to walk the dog. The front end doesn't get funny or nothing. It just, and it doesn't take much to bring it down. No, it doesn't take much to pull in the reins. It would cost me about fifteen dollars in electricity to charge this every month. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's nothing. Yeah, you know, I drive that damn truck, and it's three to four hundred dollars a month. Oh yeah. In fuel. Yeah. I mean, that $15 a month, there's your bike payment. I'm, I'm 50 bucks a week just to get yeah. to them from. Do you know, does this do good on uh, like a house charger, like a 110? Yes. Or would you need like a dedicated no. three phase? 110. Okay. Well, that's neat. See, this end here plugs right there, and there's your 110 outlet. Right. And that just plugs right up to your regular 110 at the house. You can do the big three phase with like a Tesla charge. Okay, and is that the same Tesla pattern or do you have to have like a no, converter? It's the same. Okay. This takes you about 40 minutes, 45 minutes to charge. One at the house is going to basically be an overnight charge. Zero to 80% in about 40 minutes. Woo! And then what it does is it backs it off to that level one, which is the 110 outlet. Like you said, this one is overnight, yeah. you know, ride it to work, ride it home, yeah. and then plug it up yeah. before you go to bed. I like, the, I like the action on that. Does that? Yeah, and then there's a little... A little push button? Yeah. That's cool how it lifts up and brings it up at the same yeah. time. Where it, The keys for the seat and then for the neck? For the fork lock, yeah. Okay. Now, is the, is the rest of it like on a key fob? Yeah, that's okay. the fob. Standard Harley key fob? Is that you, boss? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let you go. We'll catch up here in just a second. All right, sounds good. I'll I appreciate it. Step one, you find a Harley dealer that's got one, live wire dealer that's got one. Step two, you make friends with the floor manager and get him to take you on the test ride. Step three, you go ride, have fun, come back, try your best not to buy one. Y'all be safe out there. Take care of one another. Won't nobody else. And go ride a damn live wire. Quit talking. Once you, once you ride one, then we'll talk.